Hey guys, DJ Ravine here. I am at the Point Blank Music School and we are going to be doing a video on how to get started on Ableton Live. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried to produce music, but we're going to show you the way that you can get into it at the absolute basic level. And here with me today is Saytech. He's an established artist and also an instructor at Point Blank Music School. So how you going, man? Yeah, good man. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. What do we, uh, what do we got planned today? Right, so I'm just going to show how to um, start building a basic um, loop from, uh, from Ab inside Ableton. So if you just head over to the Ableton website um, and register, you can download a free trial which will last 30 days. We're going to be using um, samples. Um, uh, samples play an important part in music production. Um, we're going to customise them a little bit though, make them our own. Um, and do a little bit of editing as well, just so um, that we can take a loop from a loop pack and uh, create something of our own out of it, rather than just using standard loops from a loop pack. And today we're using a whole bunch of samples that we've downloaded from the Loop Masters site. They've got a whole bunch of these little taster packs, which you can actually download for free by just creating an account on their website. So go and check that out. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do when you open Ableton, um, if you're going to be using samples, um, is uh, you need to tell it where your samples are. S Ableton has its own browser system. So if you want to locate anything that's on your hard drive, you have to tell Ableton where it is first. So we're just going to add folder. And what we've done, we've put a bunch of samples we've just downloaded from Loop Masters into one place so they're easy to access. So I just select that folder there and go open. And then that appears inside Ableton and we just click on there. So the first thing that you need um, to build any track, um, especially a 4-4 track, is a, a big fat kick drum. Um, yes. You know, without a big fat kick drum, uh, there is no house music, there is no EDM, there is no techno, there is no tech house. So that is the essential element and you should, you know, some producers start with melodies and stuff but in if you're just starting out, it's probably a good idea to start with a big kick drum. Cool. So let's go and listen to a few loops. Sweet. If you like any kick drums from those loops, yep. just let me know. Cool. That sounds pretty good. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So cool. what I've got here, I've got a MIDI track. I'm just going to double click on the top of that MIDI track and it says drop an instrument or a sample here. Yep. So I'm just going to drop that drum loop into there, mm -hmm. and that opens an instance of Simpler, mm -hmm. which is a simple sampler. Cool. So now we just need to isolate the kick drum from that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put uh, a note in here. This is a piano roll here, yep. and it represents a, a piano. So you can see you've got all your notes across the keyboard here. Cool. So and just so you know, you don't need to actually know how to play a piano. You just need to <laughs> just open it up, and you can actually, it's kind of like programming a piano, isn't it? Yeah, so exactly, but you know, with a sampler, um, you know, your de your sample will default to C three. So you just need to find C three and then put that in there like that. Yep. And so I'm just going to put a four four rhythm, a four four beat in, which is just one kick on every one of these beats here. So I'm putting it one, one two, one three, and one four like that. And now I'm just going to edit the kick drum out of that sample by double clicking here. So I just need to zoom in and select that kick drum. So I'm just going to select roughly the kick drum and zoom in there and just make sure I've got one of those kick drums there. And now if I play this, we've got that kick drum. Cool. Yeah, quite a nice kick drum. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the basis, our kick drum. And... Um, now I'm just going to use some of the inbuilt drum kits inside Ableton yep. to layer some other drums. So let's go for a kind of classic um, house sound, really. Yep. Something that's used a lot across, uh, you know, a house, tech house, and sometimes even techno. So all this stuff is actually included in Ableton? Yeah, so this is the Ableton core kits. Yep. So they're really nice. They give you um, some nice uh, classic 909 drum sounds or 808 or 707 or lots of different things actually. Theoretically you actually don't need to download anything at all. You could actually just download Ableton and then you you theoretically have all the music tools that you need to create a song. Exactly. But, uh, it's always good when you have samples because you can actually add a bit more 
Yeah, and I think with, uh, you know, especially the kick drum, um, you know, you need to do a lot of processing to get a fat kick drum. Yeah, and sure. And the samples on loop packs have already been processed, so that yeah. takes out a lot of work for you. Whereas, um, you know, your hi-hats and your claps and stuff like that, um, they don't need as much processing. So you should be able to just lay that down and get something out that sounds quite nice. Cool. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, um, you know, the, the basic um, hi-hat pattern in here. So I'm going to go for open hi-hat 909 that I've chosen, a 909 kit here. Yep. So I'm just going to, everyone recognises oh, yeah. that sound, yeah. right? So I'm just going to put that in between the kick drum. So I'll put that, see where I'm putting that there? Yep. That's just in between the kick drum there. So now we go. Cool, we've got a beat. We've got a beat. And now there's, because of this core kit in Ableton, you've got a few controls over each sound. Mm -hmm. So you can really customise that sound. Um, so if I go to click on my open hi-hat here, you see I've got these these things here. Mm -hmm. So I can um, reduce, I can change the pitch of that hi-hat. Cool. See like that. Or I can change the tone of it, make it brighter or less bright. Uh, it's got a compressor, automatic compressor. I can just turn that up there. And the decay as well, which is very important with a hi-hat sound. That's a very open hi-hat sound. But you can bring the decay down and you can make it cool. shorter like that. So you've got those controls. You can kind of customise the sound quite a lot. So let's, we don't want it like that. Let's bring it down to about like that. So it's a little yeah, bit cool. tighter. And don't be afraid to play around with any of this kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't hurt. You know, you can just always revert back. There's always the undo button, Control Z, Command Z. If yeah. you don't like what it sounds like. It's very basic sound design, but it allows you to uh, make your own sound. Yeah, it gives it your own little, yeah, exactly, your own little yeah. touch. So next, I'm just going to add a clap, which is another. I need to insert another MIDI track now. So I'm just going to do that there, and I'm going to use a Core 909 kit again. Yep. And this, what we're doing now, is a basics of you know all house music. Um, you know this this beat is a classic house beat, and it you know these 909 drums. It's a drum machine that comes from uh, you know the late 80s, and without it, there would be no house music. And these sounds are still massively popular today. Yeah, I know a lot of these um, these sounds. Yeah. The claps and the snares and stuff, and the kicks as well. Yeah. They all stem from this. They've just been processed over and over and over again, and now it's a completely different sound. Exactly. So the core kits in Ableton are really handy for starting out with this, and you know they sound pretty realistic as well. Brings you back the basics. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, recognise that? Yep. And once again, we can do a little bit of uh, messing around with the clap here by clicking on the clap. We can change the pitch. Decay again, change the tone, put a little bit of compression on it. Oh, that's loud. Yeah. So we can just bring down the level here. This is a mixer here. This is exactly the same as a, a DJ mixer, same yep. principle. You've got your volume for each channel there. Mm -hmm. So you can do a mix and get everything balanced. So everything sounds good together. So that's a very, very simple 4-4 uh, four, four beat. So we could add as many other sounds as we want. We've got the classic 909 toms here. Um, everyone recognises that mm -hmm. sound as well. Crash cymbals, ride. So we could start building more and more sounds as we wanted. Cool. Um, but I'll, we'll just stick with this. Yeah, for we'll, now. Give it, we'll give it simple, and then uh, yeah. and then we'll uh, let's add some other elements to it. Okay, so should we go for maybe a bass? Yep, bass sure. sound. Okay. Sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another MIDI channel, and I'm going to use Simpler again. Um, now the thing about loop packs is, as we've said before, they're great. Yep. Um, and they've got some really nicely processed sounds on them. So we can go into a bass loop and find a sound that we really like and then mm -hmm. program our own melody with that sound. Cool. And that means that we're, you know, we're customising a loop. So, um, you know, there's nothing more embarrassing than being in a club and hearing your loop played in someone else, uh, a oh, loop you you've used in, played in someone else's tune. So this way, it means that you've got loop packs and you can start really making them your own, uh, making your own melodies from, from these loop packs, but taking advantage of the really nice, well-processed sounds on the packs. Yeah, even um, a lot of the sounds that come with the sample packs, they're all royalty-free, so if you did want to just use them on their own and it really fits your track, just don't be afraid to do it. 
Yeah, that, that, that's, uh, um, that's the beauty of sample packs. You're, you know, you're not really buying the sounds, you're buying the license to yeah. use the sounds in your own music. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you, if you download them from you know, um, a sample, you know, like Loop Masters or someone like that, then you're completely free to use the sounds in your own production. Cool. So let's find some bass sounds, shall we? So we've got the, if I just type in bass here, this should bring up all my bass sounds. So if you just tell me something that you like the sound of. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah, you want to you want to try that? Okay, yeah. so look, let's put that in a MIDI channel again, and drop this in here. So now I'm just trying to isolate, uh, sorry, isolate one note that we like the sound of again. So I'm just going to put a C3 in here again, just one in there, and then. If I solo that, that means I'm just listening to that uh -huh. channel there. That sounds quite cool anyway, right? Let's see what else we've got in here. So basically that one that you're dragging is the start of the, um, of the sound. So that's yeah, where so you want the sound to start from. Exactly. So we've got one note there. Yep. And um, we can hear there's something, you know, a, a, another element on that sound so we're just going to use a filter exactly the same mm -hmm. as you would have on a DJ mixer yep. a filter effect to take some of the highs out of that sound now you've got a filter on this sample sampler here yep. you've got your frequency and resonance anyone that's familiar with a DJ mixer will will know this is basically the same thing yep. so cool. we're just going to take some of the high frequencies out of that right so you don't get that meh at yeah, the top. exactly. Yeah, cool. So we've just isolated that now, and then we've, so we've got that one sound that we like. Now we can just make our own bass line by laying out the notes on the piano roll as we want. drop the elements out as we want to. Oh, I like that. Okay, now we're just gonna find a sound that we like that goes over the top of it. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got a bass line, so we're looking at a lead sound, mm -hmm. maybe a vocal stab, something like that. Yeah. Um, so So lead sound is like, um, what, what, what would, how would you describe a lead? Right, so a lead sound is like the main synth part. Yep. So your bass sound is the stuff that occupies the lower frequencies. Mm -hmm. The lead is something, it can be a hook, mm -hmm. uh, it can be a stab sound. It's a kind of the, the main melody of the, of so the track. It's like usually like um, the memorable part of the song is usually in the lead. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the genre. Sometimes it's in the bass line and the lead. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something that um, can be the hook of the song, the, cool. ma the main synth element. But um, you know, we're just going to find something very, very simple to uh, to to work with that bass line now. So what we're looking for now is a lead sound that works well with the what we've got going at the moment. So if you want to just have a, a little listen, yeah, I'll, sure. I'll I'll go through um, some synth sounds. Sounds cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What if I like that sound as it is and I just want to add that into the song on its own? Yeah, so you just literally, you see this audio track here, just drop it into an audio track here and it will play. It came in quite loud. Yeah. But it works well. I it like works that. well. It does work well. Um, I think maybe we could put an auto filter on it and a yep. little bit of uh, delay and reverb. Cool. Um, you get uh, send and return delay and reverb. Um, we'll talk. Uh, you know, it, if you do the course, you'll learn a lot more about um, you know how to you know set things up properly. So I'm going to put an auto filter on it and I'm going to put a little bit of delay and reverb on it as well. Okay. Um, so auto filter, same as we spoke about before. It's the same as you'll get on a DJ mixer. Mm -hmm. So just going to put an auto filter and then this has got an XY pad so we can change the, the frequency and the resonance like that. So classic sound, yeah? 
just play around with that. And then if I turn B up there, I can put a bit of delay on it, a little bit of reverb, add a little bit of space to it. So that's all pre-built into uh, each one of these tracks that you open up. Yeah. So um, every time you have a, you open up a new live project, it'll already come with the reverb and delay. Yeah, and you can customise them as well, but you know, um, that's something you'll learn on the course. Cool. Let's just do off the reverb and delay for now. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool with this. You can just play around with this as well. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and at this point, you can really just, you know, start thinking about dropping elements in and out using these um, yellow buttons here, that's just yep. that uh, turns the channel off. That's great, it builds that kind of tension. Exactly, And yeah. you can bring everything back. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We just showed you guys how to make the basic building blocks of a track. I'm here with Saytech. Uh, if you guys want to learn more, go and check out the website. Yeah, the website's uh, got loads of uh, free stuff on it, some free loops and um, you know, some tuition stuff as well, free tuition stuff on there. Yeah, that's really cool. With the uh, with the free tuition, you actually get to get like a sample of like the online course or something exactly, like that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know what you're getting yourself into. And of course, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Go and check out the Point Blank Music School YouTube channel. There's plenty more to learn from that. And I'm sure you guys are going to learn some crazy stuff that you would never even have dreamed of. Anyways, guys, this is DJ Avene. And I'm Saytech. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.